Okay, good morning everyone, good morning and welcome to your Wednesday, I hope you're having a nice, nice smooth week wherever you are in the world currently, and whatever it is you find yourself doing. Over here, a quick update on the latest bullshittery, I'm working on Divinity Original Sin Part 2 and it's halfway through the fourth week of work, I'm hoping to have the video done by this weekend, so three more days. Fingers crossed, I think I can do it? There aren't really any major holy shits that I can spot on the timeline, and really it's a case of polishing, so it's a case of just moving things around and, you know, fixing spelling errors and audio balance, it's lots of small, small tasks that are distributed across the entire timeline instead of being concentrated in one area. So no major problems, I do have a bit of a long laundry list of things I need to fix today, so I need to try and avoid going too far over the, uh, well, say about 1 hour and 48 minutes of a stream time this morning, because I really do need to, you know, I, I would like to get it done by the weekend, so, you know, I, I'd rather not work the weekend, which I probably will. Uh, my, my, you know, it, I, I'd, I'd probably find myself feeling the urge to if it's, if it's almost done. I don't know if other people are like that, but... When a project is so close to completion and it just ne needs a little, little bit, you know, a little bit more, then I find myself sort of entering a, entering a sort of crunch. Um, yeah. Anyway, so welcome indeed, folks, and I hope you're having a nice week. So, too long didn't read. Divinity Bullshittery Part 2 nearly finished. Please give me another three days. Again, just to, rem uh, just to remind the Twitch subscribers, um, I can't send out the emails that I used to send out. Twitch has taken away that my ability to send mass emails to all subscribers. Instead, there's now a Discord group link below uh, for the Twitch subscribers to, if you want to join it, feel free. Uh, and then I'll send all of the updates the, that I would send out to the patrons. Also, any polls regarding what video to do next to, to get your opinion on what I should do. And, uh, and also the videos early. So I'll send out the videos a few days early to you guys specifically because, uh, you know, I don't do sponsorship or anything like that, so, uh, or advertising. So, yeah, thank you, crowdfunders. Uh, you keep me, uh, keep me in this flat and keep me fed, so thank you. Right, anyway, so, um, thank you, Retihik and Bryce, Bryce, El Ilta? 12? Bryce, thank you, Bryce. Stanky Bean, Steve-O, Koki, Drunken Asian Panda and Chernobyl. Thank you all of you for subbing. You're very kind. Thank you for that. Right, yes, and yes, and more importantly, of course, Lord Aron. And you keep Lulu fed. And that's by far the highest priority, clearly. She's just gone for her W word. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, so she was, yeah, we were just playing with that uh, that cuddly toy a minute ago. Yeah, she's happy. Hang on. Just gonna fiddle with the aircon. It's a bit warm in here. Right. Also, it smells. I need to take the bins out, but all the bins are... Well, here in Brighton, we've got a bit of a... There's some sort of strike action or, like, you know, uh, pay negotiations with the bin men. So, uh, it's become a bit of a meme on the uh, on the Brighton and Hove subreddit where there are just huge piles of rubbish just building up. Uh, so, yeah, it's difficult to empty the bins because, you know, you don't really have any anywhere to put it right now. Right, uh, hang on. Let's just do that. Uh, thank you, Zarin Vernovic. Thank you very much, Zarin. Thank you. And Retic again. Thank you. Right. One second. Welcome to September. Wait a minute. Do you have the game? Apologies for the resolution crapness. Whoa! I'm drunk. I am drunk. Holy shit, what the fuck? <laughs> the captain's never done that before. What the hell is going on? Hang on. What is going on? I've never seen this. Are we, like, rotating? <laughs> what is happening? Is it, look at the meat! It's the whole U-boat! It's spinning! It must be a bug! We're not hit! How weird is that? <laughs> so yeah, we shake when we get hit by depth charges, so I don't know, maybe it... Maybe when it loaded it, was that like a weird angle? Dunno! Okay. Well, we are sinking. Is that intentional? We aren't. We're not hit, are we? Uh, no, we're fine. I'd show you the exterior view, but it would just be uh, darkness. We're uh, down to 156 meters beneath the Atlantic Ocean. Right there, we go. <laughs> Sorry again. I've been, I've been, yeah, been on the German beers with all the monks on the front. What is that about anyway? Never mind. Anyway. 
Um, so welcome indeed to September 1941. The Second World War has been raging, as has the Battle of the Atlantic, the attempt to starve Great Britain and her allies into submission, well, principally Great Britain, by attacking her shipping, all of the incoming merchant vessels. Now, on that front, we've gone off the coast of Gibraltar, down here. So we've left the submarine pen at St. Nazaire. We've gone all the way down here, and we've been attacking a convoy, quite successfully. We've managed to sink two vessels, and we've badly damaged a third, and it's getting away. Now, we have almost expended all of our torpedoes, so... Are we sinking? I think we're okay. Yes, so we have almost expended all of our torpedoes and we're trying to slink away so I can creep ahead of the convoy and uh, attack them again. So, before I do, let me just try and place these as accurately as I can. There we go. So I, I need to try and get a better, like a strong, a strong understanding of their bearing. I think they're still going southeast slightly. Hmm. Right, so what's going on? So on the surface, the external cam, a destroyer is trying to, well, destroy us, and the convoy is trying to get away. The ship that we damaged is right at the front. It's over, is that the one? It was a large cargo, wasn't it? Yeah, this is the one. So we damaged this one, and she's flooding, but not enough to sink her. So we need to get another torpedo into her front. She's quite obvious, though. She's by far the largest ship near the front of the convoy, so... So long as she doesn't slow down. Sorry, could you bear with me just a minute? Oh, hang on. Just trying to, just trying to mute myself. Hang on. Do do do. Sorry, I was just clearing my throat there. Um, okay. Right. Cool. So, so long as she doesn't, she doesn't slow down, we should be able to get ahead of the convoy, so long as we can escape this bloody destroyer, this one here. So it's trying to drop depth charges on our heads to kill us, and we're so far, yeah, we're down to 160 meters, so its chances of getting us are pretty damn low. Right, let's keep moving. Yeah, so let's move this way. So that's four kilometers that way. Following plotted course. Up ahead standard. Let's try and get a bit of distance here. Indeed, I have tried Pixion, but the game started crashing quite a bit. So it's windy, un underwater. What's going on here? Hopefully that bug goes away. Otherwise I might have to restart the game. It's windy in a submarine. Weird. Right. Speed up the time. So we're moving at six knots, trying to get away from this destroyer. So it's putting depth charges in in our path to try and get us. Let's uh, change our heading just occasionally so it doesn't drop them accurately. There we go. Yeah, someone clo close the damn window. So we're zigzagging as the convoy is doing. Okay. Thank you, McGraw. Thank you very much, McGraw. So that should make it much harder for the destroyer to get an accurate hit on us. There we go. Depth charges are exploding. Indeed, Retic. I do want to hide, but I, I just want to get a bit of distance first to try and tempt the destroyer. Okay, there's two of them now. I want it to be tempted to piss off. Go back to the convoy. Thank you, Leo Bonehard. Thank you very much, Leo. So we're just going to bob and weave and bob and weave. Okay. And we'll put us into silent running momentarily. So how far from the convoy are we? About five kilometers. The convoy's pulling away from us as well. Okay. So let's go back down to head slow. So now we're almost... Yeah, so now we're pretty much invisible to them. And then return to our course. 
So we've gone down to only three knots. Yeah, I might need to restart it. There's a sound bug where the wind is blowing. Oh, hello. So yeah, the destroyer is dropping depth charges into the deep. About 100 kilograms of explosive, of high explosives per depth charge. Set to explode at a preset... Forgive me, I'm not sure if it's a time or preset depth. I can't remember what the mechanism is. And their hope is that they can destroy the submarine through hydrostatic shock. No, they don't necessarily require a direct hit. They're just hoping to cause enough stress on the hull of the submarine that we sink. Okay. So what's that there? Merchant moving slow, moving away, bearing 201. No, must just be a warship. Yeah, two destroyers directly in front of us. Oh, wait, three? Oh, wow. We've attracted a lot of attention. <laughs> three destroyers are on us. Look. Side-mounted depth charges. These ones are dedicated. What is that? Another Black Swan-class destroyer. So they're dropping them from the, the stern, but also firing them sideways in the hopes that, as I read on the wiki, a, a simultaneous explosion on either side of the submarine will cause um, basically a, a, a bending effect. The hydrostatic shock will cause the hull of the submarine to bend like a ruler, left and right. So they're hoping to take us out that way, so long as they get the depth right. The good, the, well, good for us, though, is that it takes so long for those depth charges to sink to 160 metres that uh, we can easily evade by just doing a minor course correction. Indeed, let's do a major course correction. Start moving this way. That'll throw them way off, because they can't hear us and they can't see us. So they're going to th still think we're moving south. So they'll... Okay. I think they've already abandoned us. Indeed, I'm getting no nearby prepared. Well, there could be in our blind spot. There we go. Right. I think they have indeed backed away. This convoy is now about 15 kilometers away from us. Okay. Uh, hang on. So, Walter, what is the nearest warship propeller that you can hear? Walter? He said he can't hear... He can't hear... He, he cannot hear anything over all the bloody wind, sir. Yeah, let me just... Uh, <laughs> let me just save the game and reload it. Uh, one minute. What's with, all, what's with all the damn wind? Hang on. Save and exit. There we go. Right. There we go. And then back to the main menu, load the game. Yeah, just load it again. Ah, it's quite buggy, unfortunately. Thank you, Nasha Daly. Thank you very much, Nasha. Uh, Captain Diabetes says the nades sink at a known speed. A timer is enough. Okay. Yeah. Probably just a simple timer. Do they ever run out of depth charges in the game? Yes, they do. Ra uh, Rathurus. Sorry, Ramu uh, Ramuthrus. They can run out of depth charges, and that has saved our bacon uh, quite a few times, especially when we were caught with our trousers down in the English Channel, where we couldn't dive to a depth where we could evade the depth charges, so all we could do was zigzag left and right and hope, and we they simply ran out of depth charges after we spent like several hours just fucking dodging these bastards. Hmm. Sleepy dog, sleepy dog. <laughs> Anyway, how's everyone doing? You all okay? How's everyone's morning? Anybody up to anything particularly interesting? Again, for the people just passing through the stream, I'm working on polishing Divinity bullshittery, and I'm really hoping to have it done by Friday. Fingers crossed. So, three, de three days, I hope. We'll see. There we go. Talk yep, submarine loaded. Right, there we go. Wind bug fixed. That's better. 
Just a normal work day, says Captain Duplo. Have a meeting in two hours, says Lord Aron. Mm hmm Good luck with that. Okay. Masturbating mostly, says Colonel Commissar. Cool, cool. Hmm. Uh, El Lama is learning about secondary chemistry on nuclear submarines. Ah. Ah, fancy. Fancy tech. We don't have access to that, though. At best, we have a diesel engine and maybe whatever liquor that Carl is making. What's that? There's a contact behind us. Single merchant, me medium speed, moving away. Okay. So we've definitely lost the warship. So let's bring us up to periscope depth. Okay, periscope depth, please. And head standard. Ahead standard. Batteries are good. Might as well yeah, just go ahead full. Just push all the way to the surface yes, quick. Ahead full. Okay. Also, let's just send the uh, observation periscope up. So when we breach the surface, here it is. When we breach the surface, we'll... Uh, We'll be able to see if they're there. Pretty sure they're pissed off. Ah, Critical Twist is practicing for a motorbike test. Good luck indeed. Hope it goes well. <coughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, we can probably take ourselves out of silent running now. And presumably we do not have any front torpedoes left. I think we've fired them all, haven't we? Yeah, it's all... We've got nothing. So we've only got the external torpedoes, which we would have to surface and I think stay still for a while to access. And we've got the aft torpedo, which is ready to fire. So we're going to have to go with that. Okay. <clears throat> right. Surfacing the boat. We're, we're at uh, 94 meters and rising, up from 160 meters. Okay. So yeah, over here, really nothing going on. Um, why the English voice lines? Well, I had them on German, Uncle Benjin, but uh, we have a, a sailor aboard who's become a bit of a meme called Carl, pictured here, and he keeps wooing and cheering every time we sink something, and it's become a bit of a, a bit of a fun thing. He's not in the German voice pack, unfortunately. So you know, it's either Carl with English voices or. Uh, lots of German people going, like, yeah, just mass cheering in German. Right. <clears throat> okay, so, September 1941, for the people not familiar with the events of the Second World War, uh, the Battle of the Atlantic has been raging for some years now, but arguably we failed. Uh, the campaign to eliminate Great Britain from the Second World War by starving it to the negotiating table has not Contact succeeded. Merchant. Two, two, seven, long range. That's good at ventriloquism. Um, so Britain continues to, continues to get to get its supplies despite all the loss of merchant shipping, and anti-submarine technology and tactics are getting better and better. So more of the convoys are getting through. Notably, also uh, the British Empire is quite large, but it's also very slow to build up its strength, and it is building up its strength. Resources are flooding in in a more and more organized fashion as are volunteers and weapons and stuff and also its allies which are completely unaffected by the Second World War such as America are well sorry a neutral country which is ostensibly on its side but not not a true ally yet um, a neutral country such as America is providing lots of supplies that we're able to buy off of them so the British are buying stuff off of them sometimes not really for cash but for promises or you know or bases abroad, that sort of thing. Um, but regardless, yes, the American administration very much do not want Britain to fall because they've they've got a yeah they've got the long view here. They can see what would happen if it did. Um, a a Europe that's wall to wall fascist is not good for any democracy, really. So yes, Britain is trying to keep the flame of democracy alive in Europe. And uh, everyone thought they would fail. We, we certainly thought they would fail. That was the whole idea. Starve them into submission. But they're holding. Anyway, none of that really matters. All of that is you know, two years ago. It's old news. What is current news, as of September 1941, is Operation Barbarossa, which was launched at the end of June 1941. The German invasion of the Soviet Union. 
So the Eastern Front has opened up with an enormous lightning strike, a blitzkrieg, uh, <coughs> sorry, a blitzkrieg attack by Nazi Germany. The intention being, Hitler's words, kick the door down and the whole thing falls apart. That was his hope at least. Uh, mainly because of how piss poor the, uh, hang on a second, how piss poor the Soviet army seemed to be, especially against Finland, the tiny country of Finland a few years prior. The, the, the hope was amongst German planners was that, uh, yeah, the Soviet Union would fall apart quickly. And on that front, things are going very, very well. We're close to Moscow. We're a few weeks from Moscow. I think we've captured Kiev or surrounded Kiev. We've certainly taken Minsk. Uh, yeah, we're pushing deep into Soviet Union territory. So hooray! I'm sure it'll go fine and it'll never go wrong. Surface the boat. <clears throat> New depth, zero meters. So yes, the advance into the Soviet Union on the Eastern Front is underway, which means that a lot of the resources that would be going to us are now being diverted. They'll come back. Once the Soviets have been knocked out of the war, all focus will be on the United Kingdom. It will be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll win the war by 1942. Home by Christmas, 1942. All right. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Lower the observation periscope and please get the uh, the conning tower team up onto the... Well, conning tower. There they are. Okay, so get my watch officer. Has he been resting? No, he's been on station, hasn't he? No, he's alright though. Okay. Get some men resting who need to... Uh, so get left uh, sorry, hands, uh, yeah, Lieutenant Dietrich over here, swap him out with Steinhauser, and get our, oh wait, they're not fully rested. Yeah, just rest anyone who needs to rest. Our chief engineer, he'll need to rest soon. Um, yeah, send him, send him on. Okay, so, now, <clears throat> we're moving at eight knots on the surface. The enemy convoy is there so what I need to try and do is get ahead of them so let's pl plot a course sorry what is the yeah what is their course is it could they change course while we were attacking them we saw the whole convoy change course so I presume they're doing they're probably doing this probably so let's shadow them at a distance of around 20 kilometers and we'll just yeah so they should still be within hydrophone range if we do that okay so that's a three hour journey at around 10 knots okay very rough seas Okay, so let's do our best. How's our fuel? Oh, I can't because the chief engineer's away. I'm sure the fuel's fine. Hmm. Right, so pushing onwards with one final torpedo. So we can still hear them. There we go. So warship medium speed. So that warship is 24 kilometers. Merchant 22, 22 kilometers. So keep moving along this bearing. Okay, who's that? So, merchant, slow, 25. So, I think they might be moving a bit away. Let's close the distance a little bit. Um, we're working on getting the third ship now. So, for those not familiar, the black lines are hydrophone contacts. We can hear their propellers. They can hear us, though. Keep moving. We might need to creep a bit closer because we can't seem to hear them. Our own propellers are quite loud, mind you. Hi there, Sand the Skeleton. Hello indeed. Let's down the sound of our own engines just for a second. Come down to about... Oh no, wait, sorry. We don't have a, an officer at the helm station to give the order. Okay. Just come back briefly. Come down to yes, slow. There we go. Can we hear them? So the hydrophone range, well, on the surface, it's going to be difficult with all this surf. Hmm. 
quickly uh, go to periscope depth. I just want to make sure that we're not too far from them. If they did suddenly turn northeast on us towards Gibraltar. Sorry, my mouse wheel is a bit scrappy. Basically, we need to get ahead of them. Uh, probably not Hectonian, annoyingly. We've lost a few ships before bef because we've been too far from them when they sunk. Right, so there we go. We're underwater. Okay, we should hear them. So that implies that we're too far. So let's try and creep this way. Surface the boat. Whoopsie. That's crush depth. Don't do that. New depth. Two, six, zero meters. <laughs> no, don't do that. Surface the boat. New depth. Zero meters. A head full. And a head full. New depth. Zero meters. A head okay. full. Right. So. Back up on the surface. Moving ten knots. Battery fully recharged. Aha. Hang on. We've got a radio report. Moving east northeast, so that's a yeah, so a rather drastic course change there. So east 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 northeast is hang on. So they are moving at what's that? That's about sixty seven, roughly, sixty seven degrees. So when was that? Nine forty and yeah, very accurate report there, moving at eight knots, exactly as they were before. So, let's do... There we go. So, that's probably their course there. Okay? So, yeah, that's why we can't hear them, because they're now 27 kilometers. Yeah, so they're beyond uh, hydrophone range. So, we're going to go this way. So, that's a two-hour... So, almost two-hour journey to get to this position here. That should be good enough. Okay, and then they will be, according to this chart, two hours... Moving at 8 knots, about 30 kilometers along that path, probably. So that's the convoy. The pro was it 30 or 20? I think it was 30, wasn't it? So they should be there. Was it 30? 30 or 20? 2 hours, 8 knots. Yeah, 30. Okay. So that should be the position of the convoy, roughly. And that's well within the hydrophone range, which is that. All right. They were trying to go through Gibraltar when I first attacked them. I, honestly, I'm not sure what, what they were doing. Because initially they were here, and then I thought they were going all the way down to Sierra Leone. But then they turned this way towards Casablanca, and now they're going northeast. So maybe indeed they are going to Gibraltar. I do need to be very careful, because this, everyone... Stand by. That is the range of Gibraltar air patrols. So, since it's now daylight, I could get spotted by a plane. Okay. Hmm. Here we go. So, almost there. One hour away. Have I radioed in my kills? Good shout. We should probably do that. I think Carl's on the radio, isn't he? Carl, please send a contact report. Tell them we sunk an aircraft carrier. Yeah. <coughs> we have it. Hmm. Okay, we're almost there, and we'll dip underwater when we arrive and see if we can hear them. Okay, do that now. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. Periscope depth. Go a little bit deeper than periscope depth, just in case the, yes, the waves are interfering. Here we go. Ah, there we go. We found him. So, merchant moving slow. Constant distance. Yeah, so we're ahead of them. So that's 21 kilometers. Let's see if we can pick up... There we go. Lovely. That's perfect. Okay, so what have we picked up there? So I presume that's a warship. So the convoy is probably that... I'm guessing. Okay. So let's continue doing this. Get ahead of them again. So one hour and ten minutes to get there. Two hours to get there. So two hours and thirty. In two hours and thirty, moving at around eight knots. Okay, they can get, what, just over. 
just over 30 kilometers. Okay. So if they're there, they can get done. Maybe I should keep going further then. Yes, sir. Push the engines harder. Ahead flank. Head flank speed. Ahead full. Indeed. How are the, how's the fuel reserves? Uh, yeah, we're okay. All right. Hmm. Go ahead, only poison. Alas, if you'll forgive me, there's often lots of chat, and I've got to stay focused on the game, so I might miss many questions. Hmm. Right. So we're moving at seven knots in the rough weather. Merchant moving slow. Keep moving ahead of them as best we can. Let's not get too close, because that's a warship, and we are almost within visual range. I think it's about 8k, isn't it, visual range? Trouble is they can also hear us, so they might send like a a warship to investigate. Yeah, let's be a little a little bit more. I'm being a bit too blasé. Pull away just a little bit. Go down there quick. Well, we're moving at the same speed, aren't we? Okay, hmm. go ahead, flank. Full speed, as, as best we can. Ah, we've gone slower. Can I get more men in the engine, electric engine? Oh no, sorry, we're underwater. Yes, sorry, what am I talking about? We're underwater. I'm stupid. New depth, zero meters. Right, come back to the surface. That's why. We, that's why we're going so slow. We're on the we're on the batteries. Okay, come up. There we go, and then ahead, flank. Push those engines. There we go, moving at tw yeah, 10 to 12 knots, depending on the swells. Um, yes, as often as I can, Vaughn. Again, I, I feel like I'm, I'm full of apologies, really. Um, there's often just so many messages. I've got thousands and thousands of emails, including messages from patrons. I, I try to get through them whenever I can, but it takes, it would take, it takes hours. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I, I know, I know. It's not good. They used to. I used to be able to manage them. Um, so, like when there was like three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand subs, it was okay. Well, I, th the subs never stayed that that there for very long. But yeah, it, they just spiraled. And when they got over a million, there were suddenly thousands and thousands of messages. It's one of the reasons I, I had a Facebook group, but then I got rid of it. There were thousands of messages all the time. I couldn't stay on top of it. I don't know how YouTubers do. I have no idea. I tried, but. Yeah, sorry. They hire people. Yeah, then you're not talking to the YouTuber then, are you? You're talking to the, their staff. Okay. Thank you, Legend. Thank you very much, Legend. Also, hi there, Sai. I hope you're having a lovely day today. So presumably we're close. Let's dip underwater again. Periscope deck. Sai says busy but good. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you're you okay, man. Over here, um, genuinely, nothing is happening. <laughs> nothing. It's just on with the routine. Walk the dog. Keyframe some text on videos to make you guys look funny. And then fucking bed. <laughs> Right. And I need to go buy some food because there's bugger all in the flat. Gonna go get some stir fry bits. Hmm. All right. Warship closing. Bearing two. How six. far? Long range. So yeah, I think we're good. So 13 kilometers. So I'm hoping that if we sneak in, yes, yeah, push the engines quite a bit. We're looking for that cargo ship, and we need to get close. Worse, unfortunately, we've got to shoot it with the aft torpedo ch torpedo tube. So we've got to spin the boat around once we spot it. Let's give it a save. All right. Let's go. Uh, hmm. Well, you're very welcome, and, and thank you for saying so, Von Kurz. Um, alas, it's more, it's just, it's mainly me, me being cranky, but, um, but thank you. Yeah, fuck advertising, frankly. 
I fucking hate it. I, I yeah. Just the more the more advertising is everywhere, the more I just fucking hate it. I just I don't know if other people are the same. I just can't stand it. I just Contact can't stand advertising. But yeah, all the best, Yvonne Kurz. <clears throat> As I keep saying, you're not going to get like a sensible argument from me. You're not going to get some well-rounded and thoughtful like, yes, advertising is, you know, this, this. No, just, it's fucking, I fucking hate it. I'm sick of it. I'm simply sick of it. I've spent years and years, just everything we do is just beginning bombarded with shit, selling shit. And I don't care anymore. I don't care about your toothpaste brand, I don't care about your fucking cola. Get the shit out of my face. Thank you, Screamzing. Thank you very much. Okay, so hang on. Have they changed course? Because look, the shape of the convoy, that's the convoy. Look, I think I'm in a perfect position. Let's turn the boat this way and slow yes, down. Okay. So that's probably a warship there. 12 kilometers. That's probably, yeah, so about, okay, yeah, so need to be careful. Need to thread the, uh, <coughs> thread that warship. Be careful, they're in our engine blind spot, so bring the boat around. Careful. Yeah, they're going, they've moved, haven't they, again? They're going that way now. They're no, they're no longer going north, northeast. Keep moving. Cheeky little bastards, they have. Okay, up the engine, <clears throat> head full, underwater. It's going to tax the batteries for a bit, but look. They've definitely moved on us. The closest one is still 13 kilometers. Keep moving. What's that? Okay, looks like they're coming. Eight kilometers. So they should be in visual range now. So let's get the combat periscope up. Take us down to around 12 knots. Thank you, Livin. Li sorry, Livin? Thank you very much, Livin. Thank you for doing that, Livin. And before that, Screaming Zing and Legend and Nasher. Thank you. Damn, can't see them yet. How are the batteries? Oh, we're taxing them quite a bit. Okay, what's that? I see something. That's got to be the car. Yeah, it's got to be a cargo ship. No, is it? Is it turn? No, that's one of the warships. Okay. Damn it. Maybe my, my position was bad after all then. Can I get close enough to launch this torpedo then? There it is. Cargo. Could that be my target? Get their exact bearing. They're going at around... 100, yeah, it's probably 141 degrees. Okay, so that's where they're going, roughly. Shit. Yeah, not good. So where? And that's my maximum attack range? Shite. I got unlucky. Maybe I should just pull away. Oh no, that warship's coming to investigate the sound, yes, probably. Okay, I should probably just pull away. Remember that my target is right at the front of the convoy. So if I trail in at the back, I'm never going to get the one I want. Where is she? Oh, maybe they, maybe they are still zigzagging. That's 
the destroyer at the back, right? Yeah. Where's what I want? Where's my prey? No, it's not that one. Did she sink without me knowing? I don't see her. <clears throat> Did she fall behind? I can't see her. She's not here. I got no sync notification. Maybe she fell behind. What do you think I should do? <clears throat> okay, either way, I've got to pull out of this. Because we'll never get a good firing solution if they're moving this way. We've got to pull ahead of them. So move this way. Pull away, slowly. Especially because that warship's coming to investigate the sound of our propeller. Uh, the deck gun, the convoy, they have deck guns too, and they're bigger. It showed up on the map, sunk. Uh, no, what? Oh! Did it? Is that it? You're kidding me. Did we get it, and I just haven't noticed? One, two, three. I think you must be right. We did. It must have sunk almost instantly after... Okay. We got it. <laughs> okay. Solid, then. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, actually blind. Actually blind. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. D sorry, did anyone else in the chat notice? I didn't notice. <laughs> Sai did because he's smart. Of course, of course, yes. Yeah, that warship's investigating the sound of our propeller. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Yeah, he's not deviating, is he? He's coming straight towards us. So let's uh, go deep yes, to sir. avoid the ASDIC. So the incoming New deck. One, sound four, bounce. Two, yeah, the, the pinging sound off into the deep. Probably at a rough range of about... Whoops. About that, probably. Bring the boat down. Hmm. Unless we fire a tail shot at the... D nah, fuck it. Sa save the torpedo just in case I find something juicy on the way back. Let's go back home. Let's go back to... Let's go back to occupied France. Okay. So the reason I want to get... Uh, I want to get back to occupied France is that I'm rather hoping we can get access to the new type of U-boat I want to see. And I want to see if I have the renown to purchase it. The Type 9. So we're driving a Type 7. The Type 9 is much bigger. Here we go. Let's pull away. The warship is moving where we were. See? We've successfully evaded it. All right. Sorry, why can't I speed up the time? Has something gone wrong? Oh, hello. He's pretty much on us. I oh, see. He's he's in our wake. He's in our um. Oh, we've attracted quite a bit of attention, haven't we? Piss off, your Royal Navy bastards! Piss the fuck off. Come down slow. Ahead, slow. Ahead, silent running, and take us down to around 150 something Bring meters. New deck, one, five, six okay. The hub is creaking, but we're okay. Right. One second. Uh, oh, you're correct. Holy shit. I didn't notice this. If you press K, you can get the same report that you get when you go back home on your desk. Patrol 20. Nice. U48. We've sunk... Empire type freighter, medium cargo. Is that accurate though? Left from mission orders patrol this grid. We've sunk a third one. It's not mentioned here. Maybe we need to report it before it says. 
you know, you've got it. I can hear the screws of the uh, destroyer that's chasing us. Bearing 180, might be able to see the shadow of its bow on the surface. Thank you, Dr. Smargost. There it is, I see the shadow of its bow. It's about to make a fairly good run with depth charges. Yeah, starboard hard on the rudder. So we're in its blind spot. If it was using Azdic, but it's not because we're too deep. It's probably going to start dropping depth charges in its wake. Okay, come on, turn the U-boat. Please. Do, 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 do. Oh. Yep, very shallow depth charges. Holy shit. You're never going to hit us. Sneak away, sneak away, sneak away. La di da di da, sneak away. You can't get us because I'm smart. This is where I get depth charged. <laughs> I think we've attracted most of the destroyers. Let's go, let's go. La -di -da -da -da, da -da 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 there we go. Merchant moving slow over here. Hang on. A lone merchant. We just had a propeller pick up here. Moving slow and closing. Bearing 319. Hmm. We do have a torpedo remaining. Is someone else trying to get through the Straits of Gibraltar without a convoy? Interesting. Let's have a looky, shall we? Let's also mark his position. And try and get a rough idea of who that is. Maybe spend the torpedo on the way back. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've lost the DDs. Indeed, look, there's someone else here. Who is this? Who are you? Okay, mark you. Put a line between there and there. That's your probable cause, a uh, course there. Cause? Moving at probably. Oh, that's my, that's I fucked it up, haven't I? Just do it once, not twice. Probably moving at 122 degrees. Ah, okay. We could go and have a look. Bring us up the periscope deck. Go here. Okay, uh, just delete that course over here. So yeah, it would be nice to fire this last torpedo rather than bring it back to Germany. Or France. Which is just Germany light, really. After 19... whatever, 1940. Okay, uh, so one second. Can I get a ping? Not a ping, but a... Uh, Walter, give me its exact position to the best of your ability. Da, 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 da. Come on. There we go. It's there. Start the clock. Right, so we time three minutes and 15 seconds and then do a little bit of... do a little formula here to determine how many kilometres it's moving per second and then per hour and then transfer that into knots and then we'll know roughly how fast it's moving. All right. Where is it? Here it is. Thank you. I think it might be moving quite fast. Could be a warship. Is that its exact position? Jesus Christ, it's moving quick. Are you kidding? Hang on. Get ready. Okay, three minutes and. Alright, that's it. So get its latest marker. Wait for the next click. Do, 
Do, do, do, do, do, do, do. There it is. Okay, so boop. And then, so there is, yeah, between these two markers, it's managed to make, whoa, okay, about 900, say about 950 meters. So, right, so where is the thing? Uh, speed, distance, divided by time. Speed, so uh, 0 0.950, and then divide it by 185 seconds equals 0 0.0051 kilometers per second, times that by 3,600 seconds in an hour, moving at 18.4 kilometers per hour, times that result by 0.53. Nine nine three whoops seven three seven I think should be negligible to convert that into knots so that it's making nine point nine so ten knots it's making ten knots per hour well it's making ten knots right okay so ten knots what could be making ten knots a small it must be a small merchant okay. Uh, so, we know that that's roughly its course. Draw a line. Delete this line here. Moving from that location. Its course is about 119, yeah, bearing 119 degrees, roughly. Right, so, 10 knots. How long would it take me? To, well, let's surface the boat. Can we do that safely before I try? Hang on. Uh, 13 kilometers. Yeah, we can do it safely. Surface the boat. Yes, New deck, zero meters. I'll also need to check the flag. Yeah, can you imagine it? Oh, can you imagine if it's the Ark Royal? So the Ark Royal is probably going to cross Gibraltar within the next few days because it's delivering some planes to uh, Valletta over there. Malta, right? Sorry, what's Valletta? Is that a s is that the name of the airfield? Can you imagine if that's the Ark Royal and we, we've used all of our torpedoes apart from one? It's a city, not not an airfield. Cool. Valletta is the capital of Malta. Okay, well the Ark Royal is delivering planes to Valletta. It wouldn't be alone. Yeah, yeah, true. Not with the U-boat menace. So let's come up yes, to the sir. surface as quick as we can. Let's go. Full speed. Might as well just blow the ballast. Yes, oh yeah, we're still in silent right, running. Good four. chap. Take us out of silent running. And blow the ballast. Yes, sir. Blow yes, ballast. Sir. Blow ballast. Here we go. So, we're using compressed air. Have we done it? Where's our compressed air? Uh... So we're using compressed air to basically blow all of the water out of the ballast tanks quickly. So the nose of the submarine is now um, yeah, rising quickly. So I'm using this as just a maneuver to quickly get to the surface because I want to recharge the batteries. Get there because if it is moving at 10 knots, it's gonna yeah, it's not gonna wait for us. Contact, merchant, moving away, bearing, two, zero, three, long range. Okay, here we go. 70 meters. Almost on the surface. Here we go. Thank you, Stark Gurr. Thank you very much, Stark. <laughs> Bakari says, I thought M was the capital of Malta. Technically correct. Okay. Go, go, go. So we're on the surface. Let's make, yeah, so, uh, switch over to the diesel engine quickly. Let's go, boys. Get the diesel engine recharging the electric batteries fast. Let's go, haul ass. Right, let's see what this thing is moving at 10 knots. 
Should we get the exterior torps? We could, but it would take, I think it would take quite some time. And I, I'm not so sure it's feasible in this, in these conditions. Okay. Let's have a look. What does it say? Don't really know until you check. So, from the external tank... Uh, so, external reserve. Move to the aft reserve. Probably not enough men yet in the queue. Yeah, yep, waiting for loading. So, get some men in the bow torpedo room. Get my navigations officer, who's my torpedo officer in there. Okay, how long would it actually take? Any additional... Petty officers? No, it's already on max. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, so almost 40 minutes, 4 0. Okay. So, as for this, with 30 minutes to contact, what's his current position? His current position is there. For the people just joining the stream, we're hunting a lone ship that's behind a convoy. The fact that it is alone makes me wonder if it's perhaps a neutral country. So we need to be we need to be careful. Again, I got that wrong. Hang on. So ten knots. We are about thirty minutes from the target. Ten knots. Thirty minutes is here. It will make nine kilometers, just shy of nine kilometers. So it will be. Ooh, that's a bit of a. No, there it is. It will be about... Yikes. Okay, yeah, she is a quick one. So how far away is that? So that is roughly our torpedo engagement range. So let's adjust. Here. Right. Uh, no navigation officer to correct the course. Stand by. Gonna have to shimmy some rolls around, I'm afraid, boys. Yes, sir. Turn into course, sir. Yeah, it's probably just a neutral cargo vessel. We shouldn't get too excited. Let's keep moving. And also beware of the visual range, which is probably around 8 kilometers. We don't want it to start taking evasive actions on us. Okay. <laughs> How long did it take to get used to all these game mechanics? Um, a few streams. I mean... I used to play it lots of, uh, when yeah many years ago, but never really like this. Never really getting into it properly. Thank you, Squirkle Jerk. Thank you very much. There we go. Sound contact merchant move. Oh, it's a merchant propeller, so it's definitely not a warship. And is that a, a, a major course change? It may indeed be. Let us move this way, toward it. Okay, so it's almost within visual range, so we should probably go underwater now. Check batteries. Not great, to be honest. Regardless, yes, go underwater. Sir. I don't want to get detected. Periscope. Up. Periscope. Periscope. Alright. Oh, wait, we see it. Shit. We got too close. Quick dive, dive, dive before it gets a. before it sees us exactly. So, moving at. 166 degrees. Probable cause, uh, course. Course. I keep saying probable cause. The probable Very course one, there. Five, Long range. Okay. Keep moving. Yes, sir. Head, standard. Head standard. And hopefully that will be our engagement when we hit round about there. Okay. Do we see exactly what type of vessel it is? We'll have a better look when we get closer. Remember, I've got to turn the ship to fire the aft torpedo. Let's give it another save. It's going to be a hard target, to be honest. It's probably not going to land it. I'll do my best, but you never know. All right. There 
it is. She's approaching fast. Okay, how close will we be? Uh, hang on, keep following that along. <coughs> so that's probably where it's going. That means when we fire, it will be... Yeah, keep creeping closer. <coughs> as close as we can get, to be honest. 300 meters is the minimum arming range for the torpedo's triggers. For its, uh, what is it, its piston things. Did I cancel the torpedo reloading? Well, by diving, almost certainly. So, well, uh, hang on, where's my weapons officer? Yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we, we got the aft one. Okay. So, yeah, we'll have to point the butt of the submarine at it. <clears throat> there it is. We see it. We, we've got a visual type unknown. What is it? What bearing? It is at bearing. Bearing 72. See you. Oh, okay. So. Shit. Come up a little bit. Hopefully it's not evading. Yes, sir. It's a solo cargo. One, one I mean, this meter. suggests that maybe it is a neutral ship. What type of ship, do you reckon? I see one... T so a central stack. Central stack fairly small. It won't be bigger than 160. Central... No, it's too big. Let's have a look. So moving at 10 knots. Uh, nope, doesn't have a central stack. Small tanker, no, no, no. Empire type, that's too big. Ah, hang on, possible hit. Central stack, front, front bridge, front something. Front cranes, big. No, it's got, it's got, it's got two large cranes on the front there. Did you see that? Large cargo, no. Central stack. No, superstructure is too small. Ooh, ooh, Liberty Cargo. Nah. Those haven't been launched yet. They get launched this month, don't they? But it does match the profile. No, it's too big, 147 meters. Medium Cargo? Hmm. Passenger Cargo? Small merchant, maybe. Medium cargo, do you reckon? Ah, tramp steamer. That could be it. Look, tall stack, middle, central superstructure, only 78 meters. Speed 9 knots, though. Hmm. Could be the tramp steamer. Central beam. I think it might be a tramp steamer, which makes 6.6 .6 meters on the draft. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think it's a tramp steamer. Okay, so lock on, confirm identification. 6.6 .6 meters on the draft. We wouldn't even need a draft though. We can, if we hit it 90 degrees, we'll hit. It will hit it with an impact. So <coughs> let's plan for. So our current position will be. Yeah, get like here, and then where would 90 degrees be exactly? Again, we've got to spin the boat around, must not forget 90 degrees, so fire a bit sooner. That's 90 degrees, optimal firing angle. Spin the boat around like so. Okay. Yes, sir. I had one third. All right, and then that will be where we shoot. So give me torpedo tube here, slow moving. Give me a four meter impact detonator. Uh, give me, so we know it's moving at around 10 knots. But it says the max speed of the tramp steamer is only nine. So have I cocked up? 
So I'm I would be ninety degrees. Do that in a minute. What sort of distance would I be? I'd have to adjust. Well, the distance isn't so super important. About a kilometer. Yeah, yeah, we're turning the submarine around. There we go. So one kilometer. Angle on the bow. Uh, nope, we don't need people in the stern torpedo room. Only when we're reloading. There's my target. There she is. Yeah, the boat is turning. Okay, here we go. So yeah, this is how we do it. So you would plot the course, and so long as you know the target's course and your and its speed, then you can calculate where it's going to be. All right. Coming about. And then presumably we fire to a bearing of like 180 or something. We'll have to adjust accordingly. What's the flag on the target? That is a good shout. I, I'm somewhat worried it's neutral. So look, 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 look. So you're with me. Look, look, chat, right? That is a red flag, right? I see red. That's. Okay, I'm. It's red. Merchant Marina, surely. Or Denmark, maybe. That's not the American flag. Okay. <clears throat> Let's give it another save before I cock it all up. Red flag is going to be the name of the save file. There we go. Okay. So turning the U-boat around... So that's our firing angle, so we just need to make sure we fire on that exact bearing. She's not long to the target point. I've got the one shot, so let's not cock it up. Let's not cock it up. And I'll need to adjust my angle because it won't be precise. No, 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 no. This is, I, I feel it. I feel it. I've got this one. I've got this one. I've practiced aplenty with the manual aiming. I've totally got this one now. Here we go. So, rudder now. Stand by. Right, rudder amidship and all stop. There we go, stop the boat. So adjust firing position. So this is where we're firing from, that's the aft torpedo. So 79 degrees, is that correct? So imagine you're the captain standing zero degrees in front, 90 degrees, inner, stern. That's correct, 79 degrees. Okay. And then that is a bearing of uh, 171. Bearing of 171. Okay, with a distance of one, ex almost exactly one kilometer. Yep, and the gyro angle is not 70 and 60, 79 degrees. Speed of about 10. I'm going to say nine knots, because if it is a tramp steamer, then... Okay, nine and a half, I'm going to compromise. Slow-moving four-meter impact torpedo. <clears throat> Actually, now that it's close, I can get the exact... Hang on, so... Right. Kill... Right, get ready, and... Start the clock. If it is 78.5 meters... Hang on. So 78.5 meter length of a tramp steamer... Get ready to stop when the back of the ship passes the cross it now. So that would be 17 seconds. So divided by 17 seconds. 
uh, speed, so if you like, and then times that by 1.852, meaning it's moving at 8.5 knots, round up 9 knots. There we go. I've got this. I've totally got this, everyone. Right, 180. Yeah, 170. One seven one two one seven. Yep, I got this, I got this. We're ready. Place your bets now, everyone, whether it's a hit or a miss. There it is. Yeah, looks like a hostile flag. <coughs> Open the torpedo tube. Just speeding up time for a second. Boat's drifting just a teeny bit, but it shouldn't matter too much. Get ready. It's about to enter the solution. We fire immediately the moment the bow touches it. Is there a hotkey for fire, by the way, that I don't know about? Because it's hard to fire from the map screen. Enter a space. I'll try it. Come on. Okay, get ready. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one. Fire. Nope, didn't work. Fire. Enter doesn't do anything. Aft torpedo away. Here we go. Where's my torpedo? I hear it. I believe. Do you believe? I believe. I believe. Oh, it's way off. What the hell? <laughs> Jesus. Huh? It's crazy off. Okay. Jesus, that's insanely off. So what? Wow, look, it's got tanks aboard. So what? Okay, so what was my mistake? Learning experience. What did I make a mistake? Because that's so off that I clearly made a very big error. That wasn't a small, like, oh, you just got like one degree off. That's that's so off that I made a major error. So what was the error? Let's have a look. So, hmm. So depth was fine. Yep, that's all fine. So speed was fine. It is indeed moving at nine knots. Speed, yes. Hmm. Hang on. Is it that when I fire from the rear? No, so angle on the bow. So you've got to pretend that you're the captain of their ship, okay? So it is their port. No, I think the angle on the bow is correct, I think. It's not moving at nine knots. It's pretty sure... Hang on. Let's check it again. Hang on, let's give it another go. So, speed calculations. Wait for it again. Oh, fuck. Start it a little bit later. So, 78, unless maybe it's not a, 
Maybe it's not a tramp steamer. Maybe it's something else. There we go. So 17, yeah, 18 seconds. So 7, 8, point 0.5 divided by 18 times 1.852. So 8 knots. Okay. Hmm. So it was was it that I took the speed reading from the si from not from the side and therefore it's off. But even still, I, I'm going to be honest. A difference in like two two knots, that, like one knot there, that's not enough to account for such a big error. I've made a bigger error. Hmm. Wrong ship. Do you reckon? It does look 78 meters though, roughly, even if that's not the exact ship. Hmm, I took it from an angle. It was absolutely ang the angle on the bow. See, uh, I'm just wondering, I don't know if this is true or not, when firing from the, the, the stern, do you maybe have to think, like, completely flip it round, maybe? Because that, that would account for such a tremendous miss, you know. Does it have its own deck guns? Because if it doesn't, we can attack it with a deck gun, surely. No, it's got its own deck guns, they'll wreck us. Oh, you could get ahead of it and fire. No, let's just get back to France. Okay. Hmm. Right. Well, we, you know, we tried. And I failed. Okay, let's go. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Uh, Petzl says, I do think that the speed miscalcula miscalculation was the issue. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you live and you learn. Okay. You get you get to live, tram steamer. Let's go. Yeah, do you reckon I should have waited to wit hack with the speed calculation? Like, right until the end when it was 90 degree for the most accuracy? And then, of course, um, perhaps, uh, perhaps I'd be able to better identify the ship. So for the future, then, does the do the drawings have little pictures of tanks on there that I could have used to positively, I positively identify it? Is there a ship here that's about 80 meters, roughly, with tanks on its, on its deck? Ooh, so trucks here, landing ship. Though, yeah, you get those in the in the Normandy landings. Okay. Da 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 da. Can't see it yet. Maybe we've already passed it. Hmm. Can I? Sorry. Can I lift the? No. It'd be nice to see these images a bit better. Uh, plane. No. I think we're just. I think we're out, out of luck. Yeah, we've gone loop. We looped around. Back to you guys saw it? No, did you? Back to plane. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm looking specifically for like drawings of tanks on the surface of the uh, of the deck. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, uh, let's just get away from that, and then we'll surface the boat. Well, it's already night time. Oh, battery down low anyway. Yeah, surface the boat and head full. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a tramp steamer. Indeed, better luck next time. Right, we'll send our report and head back to occupied France. 
to dance with the Frauleins. Yes. No, we don't have to go so far, to be honest. We can hug the coast so long as... Yeah, we've got to watch out for those patrols from Gibraltar, but it's ostensibly friendly. All right. Do, 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 do. And we're off. So how long will it take for us to get back to uh, France? Okay, but what's that? NA, 90 hours, roughly. So it's currently September the 21st. Right, we'll head, we'll head back there. The weather has been shite. Be nice to get back on dry land. Let's have a look and see what's going on in the Second World War at around about this time. So, sorry, did I say November? September the 21st. Uh, so September the 21st, so the Germans have captured Kiev and it's now formal. Red Army forces have suffered casualties in defending this chief city in Soviet Ukraine. So, holy shit, we're pushing all the way deep towards Moscow. Yes, going very, very well. Okay, on the 26th, in a few days, the US Naval Command will, will issue all-out war orders on access shipping in American waters. Also, on the 27th, the very first Liberty ship, the SS Patrick Henry, will be launched. Liberty ships will provide... Uh, sorry, will be a major part of the Allied supply efforts. Hmm. So, a mass-produced, cheap cargo ship, I think. Okay. So, on the 28th of this month, German SS troops will kill over 30,000 Jews at Babi Yar, on the outskirts of Kiev, Soviet Ukraine. Oh, fucking hell. It's terrible. Um, the so uh oh no, 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 no. Oh, piss flaps. It's crashed. God damn it. Ugh. That sucks. Okay, just gotta load it and do it again. Did I save after I fired the torpedo? <laughs> I swear I didn't, like, you know, trigger a crash there intentionally. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not intentionally safe scumming. Right. Korea. There we go. Saved Korea. Uh let's do that. Load save. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, shame. Oh, dear. The game crashes a lot. If you zoom, zoom in on the map. Yeah. Right. Indeed, Bakari. Indeed. Bear with me, it's just loading. Um, yes, anyway, so the Second World War Eastern Front effort is going fine. Uh, we're pushing deep into the Soviet Union. Again, as, as I keep mentioning, it's going so well that it's kind of going, it's kind of going a little too well. Uh, so the, the German forces are surrounding huge pockets of Soviet army forces, uh, m much more so than you'd probably expect. Uh, this is this turns out to be a bit of a problem because if your war doctrine involves a lightning strike like a blitzkrieg type attack Then having huge encirclements behind the line is a major inconvenience and that's kind of what's going on Okay, where are we? There we are So it means you've got to stop and fuck around dealing with these like Soviet armies on your tail Which slows down your advance. So that's what's been happening for the last few weeks on the Eastern Front Stop the boat there we go. Just careful. There we go. Full stop. Lock the rudder. Clear that marker. Zero. Degrees to port. So in addition, the slower that the uh, that the German advance is into the Soviet Union, uh, the colder it's getting. And uh, also the logistics lines are getting horribly spread out because the Soviet Union is gigantic and uh, the infrastructure is piss poor. Um, yeah, the Russia and its surrounding countries are so far behind the other nations of Europe that they basically have like roads that will, they're not even roads, they're just trails. So they immediately turn into mud the moment armies try to get down them. So Germany has to sort out all of its logistics efforts itself through large amounts of very hostile territory because um, 
there's no real yeah they made zero attempt to foster any positive um sentiment with the local people they just started massacring everybody le everybody left right and center so you've got muddy roads vast territories of very surly locals who have no intention absolutely no intention of helping the germans so yeah the further they go into russia the harder it gets for them okay so torpedo targeting targeting computer so let's say i'm gonna just set set it what it was before and then we'll adjust and try to figure out what exactly what my error was okay so yeah but here's the thing i'm not even confident I know what my, my mistake was because yes I've definitely made some mistakes but not enough to miss that much something tells me that I've made a very big mistake that I haven't yet learnt impact torpedo four meter deep slow because yes you you chat you are right in that perhaps I've got the speed slightly wrong but not that wrong that, that wouldn't that wouldn't be a miss that big I was off by like an entire ship length that's crazy this close range as well so hang on here we go so yeah let's check the angle of the bow again so hang on get it get it so now that it's a bit closer let's take a better reading of its speed so i think that it is probably a tramp steamer okay probably tramp steamer and even if it's not it's almost so let me t now let's see it's a one boon yeah tank yeah space for a tank stack matches Match, match. Yes, it's definitely a tramp steamer. Okay, so it is 78.5 meters. Wait for the thing. Don't move it and fish. Right, 78.5 divided by the number of seconds that it takes to pass the crosshair now that it's closer and almost 90 degrees. Not quite though. Oop, the swells and cut. Okay, so that's 16 seconds. So divided by 16, and then times that result by 1.852. It's moving at 9 knots. Uh, I did fire at 9 knots. There we go. So 9 knots. So degrees on the target solution. Just make sure that we're on the exact position of the submarine, almost. There. That's the exact position of the submarine. So that would be... See, I don't think the angle of the bow is correct. I've got to... Uh, right, so... Is it the other side? Is that my error? Hang on. Is this what I want? Is it 98 degrees, not 81? So hang on. What's the bearing? Do that first. So... 98 degrees. Hang on. And that's 100... 163 on the bearing. So hang on. Keep 163. Okay. That should be the bearing. And then is it 98 degrees on their port side, their left side? Right, I think. And then it's exactly... Uh, hang on, we can, we can actually do the fun thing. Let's do the fun thing. It is... Uh, wait, fine with... There it is. So magnify, lock. Oh, it's hard in the rough swells. No, I can't determine the exact distance because of the swells. Maybe, hang on. Chevrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe six? Okay, hang on, so it's... Height of the mast, 24.1 meters. Uh, and then divided by six chevrons on the crosshair. And then multiply that by magnification of 0 0.37 means that it's 1.4 kilometers away. That, I don't think that's right. I think I fucked that up, haven't I? Ah, 1.1. I'm very close. Oh no! I'm exactly right. Holy shit! Because that's its current distance. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Cool. Yeah, this stuff is... Holy shit, I've got a little calculator and a, a notepad in front of me. This shit's fun. You should try this. Okay. So, 1.2, which is where it will be. 
Right, so... Hmm. So if I miss again and I miss badly, then I've definitely made a very serious error that I haven't identified. Yeah, so that's so that's the back of the sub. And that's my So yeah, why is that so far crazy ahead? Look. Shouldn't it be there? Gyro angle. What happens, hang on, 94 degrees? Let me just do this. Ha. Huh. Do you reckon it's because if I fire from the aft, I need to swap swap the angle of the bow entirely to the opposite? Again, this is why I'm so... I think this might be my... Because the guide says, pretend you're the captain on their ship... This is the direction of the submarine. But if I'm firing in reverse, do I subsequently pretend I'm firing backwards? 90. So 94. Do you think? What's Where is that firing? So it's going bearing 180. Check the bearing I've selected. Yeah. One six five. <coughs> Should be firing on bearing one six. One hundred and eighty. Hang on. One sixty three. I think that's correct. Fuck. So what am I doing on the angle of the bow? I'm not sure I understand. I've clearly made a major error. And I'm not sure what it is. Huh. Yeah, because it's clearly going way off. And it's all to do with the angle on the bow. Angle of the bow is correct, but now the speed is way off. Okay. Let's drop it down to seven knots. Angle on the bow, 74. Get ready to fire. Open the tube. <sighs> Okay. Get ready. Where's my target? Where's my target? There you are. Get ready. Oh, holy shit. Thank you, the DJ McFresh. Thank you sincerely, sir. That's really, really kind. Thank you for your extreme generosity, DJ. Seriously, thank you. Wow. Thank you, the DJ McFresh. Thank you for doing that. Did he time that at the exact moment I should be firing to throw me off the solution? <laughs> well, thank, thank you again, the DJ McFresh. Get ready. <laughs> Speed up time just a smidge and fire. Torpedo in the water. Loss. There we go. Rear torpedo away. So let's see what happens now. So I've dropped the speed. Mm-hmm. Right. 
see how we do. Yeah, it's still... I, hmm, hmm. I'm definitely making a very serious error here. Yeah. Okay, so there's something I, I need to learn. Thank you again, the DJ McFresh. Thank you. And I'm not sure what it is exactly. Bearing needs to be on the red also. Um, but no, so this, is, this isn't this is relative to target. This is us. So that's definitely... So bearing is definitely on our starboard side, which is here. Yes. Um... Speed. I mean, again, forgive me, folks. I mean, like minor differences, like a couple of knots either way. That wouldn't explain such a wide miss. I'm looking for some very serious error. Not like a couple of knots. Something like angle on the bow being the total opposite side. Bearing is the current bearing. Well, so the bearing is this. So it's the... Ooh. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, stop. I've just had, I've just had it. Look, 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 look. Why does the gyro angle of the torpedo swap into, it inverts when you switch to the rear? Oh, hold on. I think we've got it. So look, this is the gyro angle of the torpedo. So it is swapping round too. So when we, this is the submarine's gyro angle. This is the torpedo's gyro angle. Should I be swapping it over entirely? So hang on. Oh, damn. I wish I had another torpedo back there. Let's see the angle. Um, maybe I was reading the wrong gyro angle. Maybe I should have been watching this dial and not this dial. Okay. Oh, hang on. Tube 5 says, Quebec said, 150 to the gyro angle as it's a rear shot. Hi there. Yes, Quebec. Sorry, I'm trying I'm trying to learn it because I've, I've made a major error firing from the aft. And I think it's because I was looking at this bearing, not this bearing. Okay. We'll do it again later, folks. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry for the rush. It's just with only 10 minutes left, I really want to get back to occupied France. Uh, the reason being is that I rather hope... I can have access to the new type of U-boat, and I really want to try and see it. We'll try again next time. Hang on, let me just save it before it crashes again. Okay, so we're still learning. Still learning manual shooting. It's way more complicated than the, the normal. Okay, let's get back to occupied France. Here we go. Up speed. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll surface the boat, get, do our reports. There we go. Get on the surface. Okay, so it's a three-day journey. We'll just up the time compression as best we can. Uh, navigator, how much fuel do we have? Uh, nope, not depth under keel. Um, maximum range at the current speed, 33,000 kilometers. We'll be fine. It's only a journey of about uh, uh, just under 2,000. Okay. Uh, so, crew compartments, bow torpedoes, uh, weapons officer. Uh, yep, move the aft torpedo. Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, move these torpedoes into their external reserves. Cool. Thank you, gentlemen. What's the aim of the game? Fighting the Battle of the Atlantic, the war against Allied merchant shipping. That's keeping Great Britain in the fight in the 90, well, the early part of the Second World War. There's a merchant moving away. Uh, let's have Carl report our patrol successes. Press K. Nice. So sunk medium cargo Empire type freighter. We did sink a third one. Hopefully we've got the credit for it. Why is there a blue port in Spain? It's not the port, it's a ship. So there are uh, 
allied ships in neutral ports that are secretly resupplying submarines. Uh, so the port is neutral and it's not part of the war, but, uh, you know, there's a tanker which is at night providing torpedoes and food and rest to the, uh, the submariners that go there. Because having yeah, the U-boat going all the way back to port every time it needs torpedoes, because torpedoes are, yeah, we can only carry a few of them, and once fired, that's it. So you better make, yeah, if you've got like 14 torpedoes for your entire patrol, and you've got to sink allied shipping, and it takes you three torpedoes per, you know, in a salvo to hit a distant target, you're going to run out of torpedoes really quickly. Which again, sorry to whinge, but it's a case of like people, just go for the destroyers! No. Don't waste one of your extremely valuable torpedoes sinking a little escort. Go for the fat cargo ships laden with supplies that are keeping those escorts running. The fuel, weapon, you know, ammo, food. Okay. <clears throat> what if I see an aircraft carrier? Then I'll probably kick myself. All right. Yep, it's a tonnage war. It's all about starving Britain into submission. But again, it's 1941. Uh, again, uh, you know, arguably we've lost. Britain is showing no signs of surrendering. And the Eastern Front is now the focus over here. We're doing very well. Can you drive the U-boat into a ship? Yes, you can. At which point you rapidly start sinking and dying. That being said, I did have a destroyer ram me and the destroyer exploded, which was weird. That happened off near Scarpa Flow, didn't it? <laughs> I don't know what that was about. I thought we were dead and then suddenly the destroyer just blew up. A conning tower must have been made out of, like, you know, titanium or some shit. <laughs> yeah, the holdo maneuver. The captain's been killed. Yes. Quickly, go and get the, the lady in the ball gown over there with the pink hair. She'll take over the U-boat. Does she have does she have any U-boat captaining experience? No, none whatsoever. But don't you question her, flyboy. <laughs> Just trust the plan, even though she's clearly an Imperial double agent. Uh, thank you, Ebenezer Splooge and Saf. Thank you, both of you. Thank you. Okay, so we're arriving back at Saint Nazaire. So it's currently September the 24th. We left on the 15th. Not bad, eh? Quick patrol down to Gibraltar, sunk a few cargo vessels, and came back. We're one among hundreds of submarines. Uh, well, it's probably about probably about 100 active at any one time. Let's pull into Saint Nazaire. Friendly ships. Okay. Where's the port? There it is. I'm missing it. All right. Let's go over. Are we still submerged? No, no. We're trundling on along the surface. What's here then? That's oh, a submarine pen. Of friendly submarines. I'm sure everything's good. Oh, slow down, slow down. Moving at 15 knots is a bit quick. I'm sure they've missed us. Well, it's one in the morning, everyone's asleep. Right. Everything looks like it's going smoothly. Nice parking job there. Okay. Cargo vessels. Looking good. Any U-boats? Well, presumably they're underwater. Uh, where are they? Well, they're all off on patrol, aren't they? The submarine pens are mostly empty. 
What's that there? Ah! You're trying to be sneaky. No, you're not. You're flooding. <laughs> Has, it <clears throat> Has it bugged out? This U-boat appears to be underwater unintentionally. Oh, this one as well? Yeah, look, they're flooding. The, the U-boats are supposed to be parked here, but... Do you reckon it's because of the rough seas? They're getting banged against the, the sand? And therefore they're leaking? That's probably what's going on. No, normally they're parked there when you, when you drive off and they're like, Good patrol! But look, I reckon they're, ba yeah, they're banging their tails against the, the sand and the, uh, and the swells. Jesus. Fucking hell, guys. I leave you for like two seconds. You start sinking. Jesus. You parked this ship. No wonder we're losing the war. Right. <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, exit and... Uh, yeah, so save and... Uh, wait, exit patrol. Dock at Saint-Nazaire. There we go. Only two ships. Allied units lost. Wait, allied units lost? Oh, yeah, okay. Well, we did sink a third. Damn it, do we not get the credit? 10,000. Merchant tonnage. Two merchants sunk. Hmm. Yeah. We got a third. Damn it. And it was a big one, too. I guess we didn't get the credit. That's a bit annoying. That's a, a few times that's happened now. Nipple. Um, Okay. So, renown per patrol, 300. Oh, we're going to need more than that to afford the Type 9. No, no, I've re reported it a couple of times. We just didn't get the credit.
Fine. Um, second flotilla at Wilhelm Shaven. Here. The trouble is, if I move to Wilhelm Shaven, they're behind the UK. They're on the east side of the UK. So it's going to be way harder to sneak past the, ra the RAF. I've got to go all the way around the north side, past Scotland. Then again, we haven't done that in a while, so we could always give it a go. And now that the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union is in the fight, we'll be fighting convoys on their way there from the Great Britain. No, no, it's Wilhelm Shaven. Clearly says. <laughs> but I do have lots of work to do today in the form of the latest bullshittery. So Divinity, I would like to try and focus on it and get it out of the way. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. So on this stream, we've attacked that convoy, discovered that the ship that we attacked on the last stream has indeed sunk, but I don't think we got the credit for it, annoyingly. We then subsequently attacked a following merchant ship and blew it up instantly, easily. Yes, 100%. I didn't miss. I missed quite badly, but also I missed in such a way that tells me that there's something I don't know yet about torpedo firing, so um, a lesson has been learnt, I suppose? Not really. We know that there's stuff that I do not know. That's what we've learnt. Um, right. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for subbing if you did. Thank you again, the DJ McFresh, if you're still there. Shadow Pegasus, Ebenezer Splooge, and Saf. Thank you all of you for subbing. Um, yeah, subbing. Um, anyway, right. So, I'm going to go and crack on with this bullshittery, uh, push on with Divinity Part 2. So between now and 8 o'clock, I'll just be editing it to the best of my ability. Although, what's the weather like? Yeah, it's a little bit better. I need to pop out and get some food. There's not much in this flat. Hmm. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to crack on and do what I can and uh, try and have it ready by this uh, this weekend. That's, that's my goal. So I've got three days to try and polish it off and get it ready. Right. Thank you, War Wolf. Thank you for doing that, War Wolf. One second. Let's have a look and see what my clan mates are doing. Right. 
How are the ants? The ants are fine. Thank you for asking. Right, so Edberg is doing the MMO New World. Digby is doing DCS World. <laughs> What's that? He's shopped in. Uh, okay. In which case, um, yeah. So he's doing. So Digby's doing World War Two stuff, isn't he? Is that DCS World? Yeah, I'll hand you over to him then. So uh, he's going to be flying around doing plane stuff. What is this? This overlay. Okay, he's got an, ov an overlay picture of his face awkwardly shopped onto a World War Two World War One pilot, I think. Right. I'll leave you in Digby's company. So thank you again, everyone. Have a lovely, lovely afternoon. Hope to see you again soon. And um, yeah, this is ZF Digby.